friends, it's your pal Digital D again, and this week in class you work with your teachers on talking about weight, talking about how heavy something is. Alright, so we're going to review some of that vocabulary you used this week to describe how heavy some objects are. In Lesson 27 of Ready Math, we compare weight. So talking about how heavy something is. And we use some vocabulary words like heavy and heavier and light and lighter. All right. And those words are kind of opposites of each other. So let's look at some pictures you looked at with your class. All right. So this was in your book and you worked out with your teacher and talked about comparing the weight of objects. Let's think about this for um, a minute or two and think about all the different things that we can compare the weight of. So let's think about an apple, all right? Sometimes you might get apples in the cafeteria or if it's lunch or something. If you get an apple and let's compare that to this bag of potatoes, all right? So a bag of potatoes can be pretty heavy because one of those potatoes is about the size of an apple maybe. And so that bag of potatoes has lots of potatoes in there not just one potato. So we're comparing a bag of potatoes that can be pretty heavy to a apple that can be a little bit lighter. And so we use those vocabulary words and say that the bag is heavier than the apple and the apple would be lighter than that bag of potatoes. Let's compare this bag of potato chips with this gallon of milk. If you've been to the grocery store and helped your parents pick up maybe a gallon of milk, all right, you know a gallon of milk can be pretty heavy. And if you're carrying that around, your arm can start to get tired. But if we're carrying around a bag of chips, even the biggest bag of chips isn't going to be as heavy as a gallon of milk. So we would say that the bag of chips is what? How we compare that to a gallon of milk? We would say that the bag of chips is lighter, okay? It does not weigh as much as this gallon of milk. So the bag of chips is lighter than this gallon of milk. And if we're going to do the opposite and talk about the gallon of milk, we would say the gallon of milk is, what word would we use? Heavier than that bag of chips, okay? All of these objects can be compared using those vocabulary words when we talk about their weight. So something can be heavier than something else or something can be lighter than something else. So let's talk about maybe this piece of paper. So you have paper in your classroom. We see this maybe grocery list right here. And so we think about how light a piece of paper is. Well, how would we compare that to maybe this box of cereal? So we would say the piece of paper is what vocabulary word? It is heavier than the box of cereal? No, the piece of paper is lighter. And I'm gonna write that word up here. The piece of paper is lighter than that box of cereal, all right? Now a box of cereal isn't very heavy, but it is heavier than that piece of paper. So that piece of paper is lighter than that box of cereal. Let's think about maybe comparing this tissue box with this pumpkin. All right, so we have a tissue box. You might have a tissue box in your classroom or around your house. And a tissue box isn't very heavy, all right? It's pretty light. But if we compare that to this pumpkin, the pumpkin would be what? What vocabulary word would we use to describe the weight of this pumpkin when we compare it to this tissue box? Well, I would say that pumpkin is a lot heavier than that tissue box. So I'm going to write the word heavier, and I'm going to make sure I spell it correctly. All right. So heavier, the pumpkin is heavier than the tissue box, all right? So if I ask you to find between those two objects, which one was heavier, we would definitely say that pumpkin is heavier than that tissue box, all right? So in our vocabulary this week, we have the words heavy and light, 
but then we add that ending to talk about when we compare it, something is heavier or something is lighter. Let's look at a few more pictures of things we can compare the weight of. So we look at this picture up here and we think about an elephant. If you've seen an elephant in TV or movies or you've gone to the zoo and seen an elephant, and you think about a dog and comparing the size and the weight of those two different animals. So which one of those animals is lighter? Which one would you say is lighter, the dog or the elephant? For sure, that dog is gonna be a lot lighter than an elephant, all right? You might be able to pick up your dog if you have a dog at your house, all right? But would you be able to pick up a big elephant? No, because the elephant is heavier than the dog. Now, dogs can grow in all different shapes and sizes, right? And so can elephants. So some elephants will be heavier than other elephants. Some dogs would be lighter than other dogs, all right? But when we compare these two animals, a dog is lighter than an elephant. Let's think about Play-Doh in that Lego block. Which one of those would be heavier? Yes, our Play-Doh is going to be heavier than that Lego block, right? Heavier than the Lego block. What about a rock and a flower? If you're out on the playground or outside walking around your house, you might see some flowers or you might see a rock. Which one of those is heavier? Absolutely, the rock is heavier. All right, if I was gonna pick up something and throw it at somebody, I definitely wouldn't wanna throw the rock because it could hurt because it's heavier, but I could throw a flower because it's lighter and it wouldn't hurt anyone. So the flower is lighter than the rock. The rock is heavier than the flower. Think about this picture. We have a book and we have a pencil. All right, now books, like I talked about with animals, come in all different shapes and sizes, right? You might have some really small books in your classroom or around your house that aren't very heavy, but then you have bigger books that do weigh a lot, all right? So maybe you've been to the library and you've seen some bigger books, all right? This book looks a lot bigger, right? It looks like it would be heavier than maybe some of the books you might be reading right now in your house or at school. So let's compare this big heavy book to this pencil that you write with. Which one of those is easier to carry around? What's well, easier to carry around that little pencil, right? Because it is lighter than that big heavy book, all right? So when we compare these two pictures, that book looks pretty heavy, so we would say that the pencil is lighter. Great job, friends. You did a great job using your vocabulary to describe the weight of objects. And that's something you're gonna do for the rest of your life as well. Last week we talked about length, and this week we're talking about weight. And those are all things you're gonna to continue to use throughout life. As you look at an object and think about how heavy it is, compared to something else. Keep up the hard work. We've almost made it to the end of the year. Until I see you again, don't forget, keep counting.